how's it going everyone? So today what we're going to do, we're going to start the first part of a four part series I thought I'd do on modern metal soloing. What we're going to do is we're going to check out some modern guitar techniques in a solo context. Obviously I'm predominantly a metal guitar player, metal is my background. I do pretty much most styles, don't like to just stay in metal. But since that is my forte, I thought it's about time on my YouTube channel that I really delve deep into some of the things that I'm able to show you. Please make sure to subscribe and to like down below. That backing track that you just heard me play over is actually free and something that I made personally myself for you guys to use. If you would like to download it for free so that you can try this solo over the top of it yourself, then the link is in the description. In this solo, you're going to find hybrid picking, you're going to find economy picking, you're going to find sweet picking, you're going to find pinch harmonics, you're going to find legato. Hopefully you'll like the solo that you just heard. Without further ado, let's get into learning it. Right guys, so let's get into learning this solo. So the way the solo is composed is in two parts. We've got a part one and a part two. So basically inside of this solo, it's outlining in the first half the chords. So the chords are, which is a B power chord with the F sharp in the bass, C power chord with a G in the bass, so you can say a fourth chord, and then a D power chord but with an A in the bass, so we could call it also a fourth chord. And then lastly, chord four is your typical E power chord. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be outlining those chords in part one. Right, so we're in the key of E minor. Let's get started. First things first, we're going to be doing this. This is the first half. So as you heard at the very beginning of this video, I start with a slide. I'm just going. So I'm doing an upstroke and just dragging my fingers across the strings. And then that's when we get started. So the first one is outlined B minor, as I said. So here's the actual frets we're going to play, and then I'll get into the fingers that we're using and kind of the picking technique later. So we're starting on B on the first string. We're then going to 11. So F sharp on the third string. So we're doing a string skip there. We're then pulling off from 11 to nine, pulling off to seven, third string still, hammering on to nine, hammering on to 11. And then we do that twice. So we get, and again. So together it sounds like. And then to top it off, before we move on to the next position, when we're changing to C, we just go seven and 11. And that finishes off the B minor sequence. We're obviously including an E here inside of B minor. So here's what we get, medium. Fast. So here's what we're doing in terms of picking. So the fingers we're using, first finger, little finger, third finger, first finger, third finger again, little finger again, same thing all over again, first finger, little finger, third finger, first finger, third finger, little finger. So that's your... And then we're finishing off with first finger again, and then little finger. So every time we're playing the top string, we are basically going to be using our third finger, or in other words, our ring finger, okay, on the picking hand. So every time I'm playing the top string, I'm plucking it up with my ring finger. Every time we go to the third string, we are picking down with the actual pick itself, okay? So top string is always using your ring finger, First note every time you go to the third string is a downstroke. Any other notes after picking the third string are pull-offs and then followed by hammer-ons. So two pull-offs, two hammer-ons. So we get ring finger, pick, pull-off, pull-off, hammer-on, hammer-on. Same again, ring finger, pick, pull-off, pull-off, hammer-on, hammer-on. Then to finish it off, same thing for the first bit. Ring finger, pick. And as you can see, we're string skipping between the first string and the third string. So what this actually is, is hybrid picking, as well as string skipping. So how about that? Two and one. Right, so that covers 
the B fourth chord. So we're going to now position ourselves up one, or think of it mentally that way. Picking pattern's exactly the same. The string skipped parts are exactly the same. We're going to be on eight. On the top string, we're going to go to the third string, 12th fret, pull off to 11, pull off to nine, hammer on to 11, hammer on to 12, repeat that all over again, eight, 12. Same thing as before, but just different frets. Reason why we're including an F sharp is because we're in the key of E minor. So there's no F, there's F sharp. Right, so that covers the C fourth chord. We're now gonna move up to the 10th fret. Yet again, picking patterns exactly the same. The string skipped parts are exactly the same. Whole sequence and idea is the same. We're just changing the frets. So 10, top string. String skip to the third string, 14th fret. Pick it, pull off to 10 from 14. Pull off to 11 from 12. Hammer back onto 12 from 11. Hammer on back to 14 from 12. Repeat that whole thing again. 10 again, 14 again. So obviously what's different here is instead of using your third finger on your fretting hand, we're using our second finger. And then that brings us up to the last one. So this is over the E minor chord or I should say E power chord. Right, so with this one, we're moving around to the 12th fret area. So we've position shifted again. So 12, string skip, 16th fret, pull off to 14. We're using the third finger again this time. Pull off again from 14 to the 12th fret, first finger. Hammer on back to 14 again. Hammer on to 16 again. And then pick with your ring finger yet again. The 12th fret, top string, first finger. And that's all we're keeping of the original idea. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to do a guitar bend on the 15th fret with our third finger on the second string. Full step. With a little bit of vibrato. And you can see I'm sliding a little bit too. Right, so that is all of part one. So part one. Right, so now we're on to part two. So instead of using our ring finger and our picking hand, we're actually going to change to using our middle finger or second finger. So instead of using this one, we're gonna use this one. So the first bit of the second part is going to be an E minor arpeggio. And we're going to go 12 on the low sixth string, middle finger, fifth string, 10th fret, and then we're going to hammer on to 14. And this is how we're going to actually pick it. We're going to pick the low, Sixth string on the 12th fret with our actual pick. But when we go to the fifth string, to the 10th fret, we're actually going to use our middle finger. So we're going to pick with the actual pick on 12, use our middle finger to pick on 10, and then hammer on to 14. And we're going to do that twice. Pick, middle finger, hammer. Pick, middle finger, hammer. And the trick with this is to try and get all the notes kind of rhythmically the same. Right, we then take that same idea, same picking, but we take it up an octave. So we're going to pick on the 14th fret with our fourth string. Then we're gonna to go to the third string, 12th fret, first finger, and we're going to use our middle finger to pick. And then we're going to hammer onto 16. So same idea as before, and we're going to do that twice. So, so far we've got Next, we're going to do the exact same shape, so an E minor arpeggio, but it's going to be slightly different. Instead of doing any more hybrid picking, we're going to go into some economy picking. So we're going to do the next octave up. So we're now on the second string, 17th fret, pick down. Drag the pick onto the next string once you've picked the second string, 17th fret, like that. You can see that my pick is resting on the top string, and that's what economy picking is. So I'm now ready, when I go to 15, with my first finger on the top string, to pick it already, so you get this. You can see I'm not going, I'm not picking outwards, I'm picking down, I'm dragging down the pick. So you can see I'm picking down, down. Right, so once we've done that, hammer on to the 19th fret on the top string, pull off, back to 15. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually, instead of doing economy picking, do some proper sweet picking. So once you've got to this point, you're going to turn your pick to go up instead of down. And every single note we're going to play in this whole entire sweet picking section, which is an E minor sweet pick, is going to be upstrokes. We're going to go to the 17th fret of the second string, upstroke, using our middle finger, second string. We're then going to do another upstroke, third string, first finger, 16th fret. We're then going to go to the 17th fret of the fourth string, middle finger, upstroke again. And then we're going to do an upstroke yet again. Uh, on the 5th string, 3rd finger, 19th fret, and then do a slide. Last bit, we're then going to go to the 7th fret of the 3rd string, 1st finger, and we're going to slide to the 9th fret on the same string. And then the last note of the whole sequence, we're going to pinch harmonic the 9th fret. So slide. Pinch harmonic, and then slide again, back down. So all together. Right guys, so that is it for today's lesson. I hope that you got something out of it. As always guys, thank you for supporting the channel. Make sure to like if you liked this video and got some use out of it. Make sure to comment to give me some feedback and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.